How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Aloha and welcome. <clears throat> I'm Fade Panther. This is Bio Mutant. Welcome to Bio Mutant. Thank you. All right. Um. So first things first. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm okay with auto advancing them. <laughs> cool. All right. Sweet. Uh, camera. We'll adjust that if I need to. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll adjust all that if we need to. I'm using a controller. Um, so far, you guys' volume is actually perfectly okay with me. <laughs> Matt, just, this is the default. Yeah, that that's that's what my com computer can handle. Holy shit. Um Huh. <laughs> mm, quick time events. I'm not sure if I like that. Um let's make that large. Maybe there we go. There we go. No, no. That will help immensely. All right. Cool. All right. Wait. Yes. Back. Here we go. Um, medium. Encode your DNA. Okay. So choose a base. Primal is a nimble, developed, anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with gene mutation, making them nimble, dexterous, at the cost of lesser intelligence. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Dumdon is the latest developed. Uh, anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid offshoot that compensates with a lack of mental prowess with physical strength. Nope. Rex is an experimental uh, extraordinarily developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with an even DNA spring, string making it apt for both physical and mental challenges. Um, Hella is aggressive, uh, a regenerative developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid with gene mutation, making them extremely tough and resilient. Fip, oh god, look at that face. Fip is a breed, uh, Fip, the Fripp bead is highly evolved mine. Genius is delect, uh, Directly interlinked with the power of key, which amplifies psionic abilities. Okay. Mongol. Um, idolized breed. Its extraordinary evolutionary lineage has gone from a direct uh, direction where from and appearance, form and appearance dominate over function. I.e., it looks pretty cool, so it's good at bartering. Um, I think I like that one or that one. Yeah, I'll go with this guy. 
define your character starting attributes. To see more detailed explanations of what they are, press this button. Define your genetic structure. Yes. All right. Uh, vitality determines how much health and energy cost of dodging. Okay. Health is... Uh, yeah. Slowly regenerates out of combat. Can be retrenched. Okay. Okay. Got it. Kind of want this. I'm not good at bartering. I'm not good at punching things in the face. But spell work, I could do that. Uh. No, I, I, I really just, I want to... Choose a genetic resilience. I like biohazard. Choose your first style. Oh. That's kind of cool. I don't like how I don't get to specifically choose, but I think I like this one. Pick your main color. Green. Choose your detail color. There we go. Pick a class. Class. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start up from the top. Mercenaries trained in the sword who mastered the art of the blade. That's not me. Uh, dual wielding. I, I love dual wielding. Don't get me wrong. But that's not what I'm going for this time. Dead eye. Dead eye is a tricky uh, gun. Mer Dead eye. Okay. Uh... Commando. Ah, uh, it's train. Oh. Psy freak. That's more than likely what I'm gonna be. Saboteur. Sentinel. Yes. Yeah. Cyfreak. Cyfreak chosen. Good choice. Oh, just here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. Okay, hold up. Okay, that's better. So tap this bunny hop. We're already at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Okay. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through ah. everything. Blue. Let me introduce myself. 
I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. That's right. Light is only for those having difficulty seeing what's in front of them. Sticking to the me first path is the only way we'll be going places. Uh, I'm surprised at the change of heart. I believe in putting yourself aside to help others, but helping the dark side is not that you know. You can't fight who you really are. The blood is obviously running red in our veins. You're trying to keep us in the dark here, but you know it's blue blood in our veins and what it means. We have responsibilities. You can't fight the truth. Oh, okay. Right is always right. Yeah, I mean, until it goes left, because you went right too many times. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Okay. Woo! Oh, okay. This is so cool! With my foot. Fuck yeah. Hey. You better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. I hate that you guys put white on white. Like. Seriously, this is hard to look at. I think I make, might make this a little long. Ugh. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Aim the camera for ranged attacks. Reload. Cool. Um, I'll probably do a longer episode of this because it's the first one.
<laughs> oh, that is that is cool. I like that. How fast is this slow regeneration? I do have a double jump. All right, that gives me a, a height. Um, three feet, two feet. Jesus, short little fucker, isn't he? I do like how fast I move. Oh, right. Weapon add-on. You found a weapon special effect add-on. Attach it to your range weapon to give it extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have resistance or weaknesses to dif different weapon special effects, so use them wisely. Uh, I'll pick it up, I won't use it yet. To attach it... Alright, fine. Wait. Whoa! Alright. Um... Medical supplies. Okay. In combat. Okay. Sweet. Pick up. So I'd go like that and then use that. Okay, cool. God, yeah, only two feet tall. Finding things both here and there. I do know that this narrator is the only voice in the game. Or, um, um, tangible voice. There, there's gibberish, but. Parry attack. The okay. oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death. Oh shit! But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Oh, this one. I could stop that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Ah, ow. Fuck off. Found on half your health. Don't care. the other dude. Oh, okay. I, I looted both. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Don't go in there. I would very much like it if you didn't hide my goddamn menus. I don't care about that, currently. 
I don't mind about that. I love that. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Where is it? Hut. Okay. Ah! Fine. The scrap keeps piling up. Anything over here? Got him in the back. Dandy candy. <laughs> Defeating enemies and completing quests gives you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attru attributes by 10. You also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in Wung, <laughs> Wung Fu and perk menus. Loot. Sweet meat. Uh, character. Increasing attributes. When you level up, you can increase an attribute by 10. Pick which attribute you wish to from the list. Your eyes are open. Upgrade points. You'll earn upgrade points with leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack.
Ba, ba, ba. I like that. Once you remember to spend them on perks and cool. I guess I'm going unarmed. Uh, we'll f we'll find out. We'll find out. Holy shit. Uh, this way. Okay, it takes key to use it. Damn. All right. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. Craw claw bar. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. No, really, I mean it. Ooh. Rabbit's leap. Hi, carnivorous plant. The morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Bioblobs. You absorbed a bioblob. These are points used to unlock mutations. Works. Okay. An old built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? 
It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. That's actually a rather bright side to this apocalypse. You found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some open new paths, while others feature different rewards. Okay. Okay. Ha! Each node. Alright. Okay, so that's... Alright. There. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Gotcha. of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. There you go. Okay. Out of date. Airstrike. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Come in handy. I don't know what's going on. Move 
friend, an old friend. You both are lol and often pa. Wherefore, where we? He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Eh, bubuko vol junyu bubobo tuboko. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Tuloya oto lola. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. Eh, bubuko vol junyu loa tolu tol. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. <laughs> He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Woo! Pray! Yeah. Oh! Flashback! <laughs> Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Muma knows you are here. <laughs> You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> True. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them. The Potato People. Potato People. The Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay. Um, we are clearly still in... Alright, I've got to go at least until a save point. Oh. Huh. Okay. Okay. 
Ah! Do not do well with water. Got it. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. Oh, oh, oh. The Mono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. The small tree you saw up there where you met will eventually grow into a tree of life and start giving back to nature. It'll be the heart of the land. God, how old is this character I'm playing? You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. <laughs> They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves, where they draw mineral from the natural rock. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Off I go. At least until I get to a safe point. Which is probably going to be after this flashback. Oh, I have no idea how large of a file this is going to be. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. <laughs> you can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. You did good. Sorry. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. 
familiar until the Wait. tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. Is he the same dude with the pompadour? The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mecton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Nocco oh, has tamed the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mecton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the World Eaters. Yeah, you are the same dude. Getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Damn. Saving. Holy shit. Oh. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Fuck yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. Ew. I'm I'm waiting until the the credits are done rolling. Holy fuck! Is that one of the world leaders? That 
must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the World Eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Your inner balance has two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Few are, uh, few are those who act, always act in the same manner, and wholeness is a sum of choices we make and actions we take. The balance of your actions creates your aura score, which affects your dialogue with other characters. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interacting with captives and Psy Shrines are where you Psy Points used to psionic powers. Powers you can only unlock once you've required light or dark inner balance. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not... He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. I'm such a doofy looking... That's a spark of light in you! What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. You've gained a side point. Use it to unlock powers in your mutations menu. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Dot two. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. I'm not talking to him. Yeah. Move. Oh my god. My yami. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Miami. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Cool. All right. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. No, don't they like believe that. a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Both are kind of bad, Out of date actually. says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. 
Myriad is convinced that defeating the World Eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Out of Date will be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Oh, cool. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. Sweet. Can I... Awesome. There. Mutations menu. Alright. Um... Oh god. That's ah. Oh. I think I like this one more. This button. No, I don't like that. Oh, Jesus. I want that. Oh, level 15. Okay. All right. That is it for this episode. Sorry, it was super long. It basically was two episodes. Um, I don't know how large this file is going to be. So, yeah. I will catch you all in the next episode. There will be a next one. Until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.